Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today's uh, episode, we're taking another look at our LST XXL2E from Losi, our 1 8 scale monster truck here. And uh, just doing a little more work on it. You know, one of the things that we noticed is that this, uh, the differential mount in the rear, you know, we, we had found a broken one in the front with the bulkhead, but the one in the rear, this piece actually needs to be slotted around that chassis. You see the slot there in the in the differential mount, right? That actually needs to uh, fit into this plate of aluminum. So to get to that is no easy task. Uh, we, just, we just removed the battery tray, which is um, two screws that uh, went through here. That, that's to access these two screws. Um, you gotta you gotta take out here's the battery tray itself. You gotta take out these two screws and then there's uh, another two screws that go through these holes that are captured by uh, quarter inch nuts in the back. So um, you know you'll need to use a, a nut driver to hold that still while you use a screwdriver to take those out. Um, then we discovered that there were actually two screws missing here that should go into the, these mounts. Um, so that is not good. I mean, that's basically um, allows for, for uh, you know, uh, two mounting points here, these two screws instead of four. Um, so definitely glad that we investigated this further. You know, th these are some of the cons of buying uh, a truck used, right? Um, I mean, I, I don't mind too much because I, I, I enjoy taking these apart. Um, you know, usually doing some improvements along the way, but um, basically we're going to have to kind of do what we did in the, the front of the truck here, and it is a symmetrical design, right? The, the front of the truck is very similar, shares a lot of parts with the rear of the truck. Um, just to get that tab in, we'll, we'll go ahead and replace um, the wheelie bar with um, the uh, the rear bumper from the, the gas version here. So we got these from Dollar Hobbies, the front and rear bumpers. We'll throw that rear bumper on there while we're at it. Uh, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to do some similar uh, disassembly of the rear here just to get that differential tab in. And you know, usually it, it's not a huge deal if the, the differential's angled a little bit lower, but uh, might as well do things right. Um, I like to do things right uh, the first time and not have to worry about it later. Uh, you might have some possible failures due to that. Uh, but you know we'll 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 go ahead and and do that here uh, uh, and uh, we'll get this truck back on the road. So thanks. all right, so getting that front diff tab in wasn't as difficult uh, as we had originally feared. Here, actually, you just need to take out these four bolts after removing the battery tray, like we showed you guys, and then take out the bottom four bolts. And actually, this front the whole front assembly slides out. So we just had to slide it out, slide it back in, making sure that those tabs on that diff mount uh, were properly aligned and also the dog bone here properly aligned. And then we were good to go. So everything's back in place as it should be. We'll go ahead. So we've already gone, gone ahead and tighten those top bolts. second check there make sure that those four bolts are cinched down and now we can go ahead and just move back here and Gonna go ahead and pull out the remnant of the uh, wheelie bar here. So 
it's just like the front bumper that we've seen before in our previous video. This one just slots in here. And we'll put those half inch screws back in. And actually I'll go ahead and lay this flat here. So we just gotta tighten those in, put the bolt back through, and we'll be ready to go. Thanks again for watching. Please uh, let us know if you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks again for watching.